Uh, everybody wanted another 10 ways the world could end suddenly. <laughs> and no one posted the optimistic talk. So when Mike and Linda asked me to give a talk at TEDx these many years later, I had lots of good ideas. But guess what they wanted? <laughs> and that's why we're here, Dr. Doom and Gloom. So let's begin the 2013 countdown. OK, you're looking at N1H1. It's the original flu virus that caused the last great pandemic, the Spanish flu of 1918, um, which infected 50% of the world's population at the time, which was a billion people, and probably killed one out of every 10 people. But here's the interesting thing about it. It came in three waves, three different waves, pretty much about six months apart. And the second wave killed every single person who got the flu. And that is how bad flu can be. Now here we are in 2013, and in barnyards all over China, there are ducks and pigs and chickens in close proximity. And that's actually where influenza originates. And here's how it works. There are two kinds of viruses. There are viruses that infect animals. And animals pass them easily to other animals. And then there are viruses that infect humans, and they pass them easily to other humans. And we could be looking at another worldwide pandemic like the Spanish flu if a human being who has a human-type virus that transmits easily to people happens to eat one of these animals. Um, you know, 40 or 50 years ago, this country built thousands of bomb shelters because we thought nuclear war was a real threat. If we can do that, we can build a public health system that will take care of us in a pandemic.